guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and I'm going to be showing you guys the IC Sorcery ROM for the Galaxy Nexus. This is built on 4.0.3 Android Ice Cream Sandwich. Uh, it's a very unique ROM in that it has a unique theme. Uh, this has kind of like the uh, mystical wizardry. I wouldn't say Harry Potter because that would be very childish. Um, but it does have like that mystical theme to it. So if you're into that kind of thing, you will love this ROM. Like absolutely, because it has so much of that in it. I myself, I'm really not into it at all, but I do love the performance of this ROM, and I love some of the other customization features in this ROM, uh, so there's plenty to love about this ROM. It's totally unique. Uh, you won't find a ROM like this anywhere else on the internet, uh, so we'll go ahead and jump into this ROM review. And the first thing we'll do is we'll jump into the app drawer. There's a few, uh, uh, there's a few apps that are included here, such as the Altimeter application and the Pressure Net. I haven't really gotten into those much because I'm not really a weather nut. Also, it includes the Searchlight. That's like a torch app, and you'll notice that all of the uh, Android apps the g apps have all been updated so you've got all your play store and then like your play music and your play movies all that's been updated and uh, if we jump into settings there's plenty of settings here to go over we'll go first to the ic sorcery modifications and we'll look at the let's go to the top of the menu here the clock widget is there in the status bar you can change the battery options that would be like your battery percentage mod and the pull down widget you can turn that either on or off um, let's see here, lock screen options. If you go into your lock screen options, you can change the number of targets. I like four. Uh, you can have menu unlock. You can have volume music controls for whenever your phone's locked down. And you can also change the targets uh, on that lock screen as well. On screen controls. Uh, those are like your navigation here. You can change what shows up as far as like the menu button and the search button. I have those there. And you can change the on-screen control order and the color of the on-screen control. So you can just like change this on the fly like in other ROMs that we know of. So just very quickly we'll set that. If we go back, uh, we can change the... The auto brightness, we can turn that on and pulse notifications. We can change the color of our LED light and the notification and also the duration of the pulse, which we've seen that from other ROMs as well. And miscellaneous, we can turn on the allow 180 rotation, so that will allow us to turn the phone upside down. CRT off animation, we can turn that off. And we can also change our carrier label. I have it as Droid Modder X, obviously. And you can disable the boot animation. And then there's some extra settings for the uh, barometer uh, applications there as well. So before we jump into the IC Sorcery Tools, which is like the unique modifications part, I'm going to show you some of the theming elements. You guys have probably already noticed down here in the navigation buttons. It comes with like this custom... Uh, this custom animation behind the navigation bars, whenever you touch it, it just does like a little magic trick type thing there, which is pretty neat, I guess. Also, if you pull down the power bar, uh, you have like this wizard dude here that's holding the world. I guess he's like doing some magic trick there with the ball, or either he's casting a spell. I don't know. Uh, anyways, if you're into that kind of thing, that's pretty neat, I guess. And... Uh, another thing here is if you open up an application, you have like this little animation thing. I've never seen it on any other ROM, uh, but I'm not a Droid 1 person. I never had a Droid 1. My first real Android phone was the Droid X. I mean, I started out on Windows and had like a hacked version of Android on that, but Droid X was my first real phone, so apparently this was really popular on the Droid 1. So if we open up an application, I don't know if you saw that. That was very quick, but you had like this little wizard girl. Try that again. See, I don't know if you saw that. Very quick. So that's another element there. And of course you have uh, your wallpapers for IC Sorcery. So there's plenty of those to choose from. I kind of like the magic hat. The least mystical for me. I know some of you guys really love the mysticism. Uh, anyhow, there's that. So then we'll go back and check out the IC Sorcery modifications and settings. And we'll open up the tools there. So there's several uh, animations to choose from. These would be like whenever the applications open and close, they'll either fly in or fly out of the screen. And you can change that to like flip, fly in, shift, slide. You can change those animations on the fly. You can also change your boot animations here. And there's just so many to choose from. I mean, the list is incredibly long. 
So there's that. And you have fonts here. You can change your fonts. Lots to choose from. Uh, you can change your kernels. This is pretty cool. You can uh, flash any kernel on the fly. Uh, some of the most popular ones are the lean kernel, the tuna kernel, uh, defiant kernel is pretty, the Franco corn, kernel and popcorn kernel and, you know, co codename Android kernel. Those are all pretty popular and those are there. Soft key mods are here as well. Uh, so there's tons of those to choose from. I just have the stock ones here, but there's like a lot to choose from. So if we open this up, it'll give us a preview of the uh, green neon. If we go back, you have like a uh, text. This one was pretty cool. I checked it out the other day. Batman Forever. And all you have to do is press OK and it installs it on the fly, which is cool if you go to Device Manager. Uh, there's lots of other things there like ROM updates, uh, some extra mods there, recommended mods from Sorcery. We'll load that up. So you have like your bitrate, G apps. Uh, well, let's see here. No pull down animation or wizard disk stock keys, uh, which I may flash that there because, like I said, I'm not really into that. And there's also a theme manager here. So you can change your theme, which is really cool. Um, let's see here. Extra apps are there. If you go into tools, you have the overclock settings, spare parts, terminal emulator and uh, wireless ADB tweaks. We've got cache cleaner, fixed permissions, LCD dens density, uh, white battery stab, zip align applications, and uh, that's pretty much it for the IC sorcery tools. And then they have their credits there. So pretty much this is a, a pretty solid ROM. Uh, I will say that the battery life was not incredible for me and my situation because I use my phone like all the time. I'm constantly streaming music. I watch YouTube a lot on this thing while I'm uh, at work or whatever. So I use my phone a ton and surf the internet. I even give myself some Wi-Fi during my lunch hour because I do some writing. So for me, I was able to get through about half a day on a battery before having to plug it up. So for some of you guys, that would be unacceptable. Most of you guys won't use your phone as much as me either. Uh, it is very snappy very fast the performance is excellent here there's so many theming options available in this rom probably one of the most themable roms out there uh, so you definitely want to check this out and uh, i would show you guys <clears throat> how to flash a rom but i just don't have time today uh, so basically what you want to do is reboot into clockwork mod recovery and then you're going to wipe data wipe cache wipe Dalvik cache and install the zip from SD card choose this uh, choose this one and then I, I believe it comes with G app so you'll need to flash this ROM plus the G app you can download this ROM from the link in the description and uh, as soon as you have that finished uh, it'll boot up it does come with a really neat boot animation so you'll definitely want to check this ROM out Guys, thanks for watching. You can find me at droidmoderx.com for all the latest in Android news, ROMs, mods, and hacks. You can follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx with an E, not a 3. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter. I'm sorry, I just said that. Ha, ha, ha. So funny. Uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel as I keep it updated all the time. It's one of the, if not the very best, uh, Android YouTube channel out there. You guys can holler in the comment section about that because I know that you agree. Also, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys.